Scoliosis is a disease, in which the spine is deformed to C or S shape, and it can lead to dangerous surgery if the curve is too severe. X-ray image is required to diagnose scoliosis. X-ray should be carefully checked for its R mark, and the X-ray part is divided into three areas. Scoliosis can be categorized by four types. If the spine curve is at thoracic and lumbar part, it is type S. If the spine curve is at the top of the spine curve, it is thoracic C curve. If the spine curve is at the bottom part of the spine, it is lumbar C curve. If the spine curve is at the middle part of the spine, it is thoracolumbar C curve. Most patients use rigid brace to correct scoliosis. Many people give up wearing rigid brace within a few months, because it is too uncomfortable to move and rehabilitate simultaneously. Besides its stuffy feeling when wearing, the manufacturing method of putting plaster all over your body, is a complex, and cumbersome method that takes a long time to manufacture. The high Cobb's angle reduction rate of the scoliosis patient has been the most positive effect of Flexpine, and this has been proven in actual clinical trials in Seoul National University's hospital and it is published in renowned journal, Medicine. And the personal smart solution that controls exercise by attaching sensors to the brace will also be implemented in Flexpine. In terms of satisfaction survey by hospital, the score was 3.6 points, which is much higher than that of the existing rigid brace. Flexpine has obtained an HEPCS code which can provide insurance coverage in the US. 80% of the price of braces can be covered public and private insurance. Flexpine sizes can be divided into children's, extra small, medium, large, extra large, and two extra large and users can change products of all sizes to two types of braces. Flexpine consists of aluminum, a set of frames of various sizes, four elastic bands, and a screwdriver. As you can see, users can adjust the length by moving all the screws in the front and back to the other holes. In the case of two-way types, place two alternately in parts A, B, and C, and D in the front, and two in sections A and C in the back.
and in the case of unidirectional types, place two in the front part only in the A and B parts, and two in the back part in the B section. Flexvine uses the three-point pressure principle of supporting with a frame, and pressing with a band to correct the curved part. Elastic bands can be placed on both the left and right sides. The Flexvine assembly method is as follows for the right C-curve of the S-type, thoracic spine, and the left C-curve of the lumbar spine. First, prepare an aluminum and a frame of appropriate size. Second, connect the frame to the aluminum. The upper frame covers the upper left chest of the patient and the lower frame covers the patient's right pelvis. Third, fix the elastic band to the back aluminum frame. Two bands are fixed in section A and two are fixed in section C. The flexvine assembly method is as follows for the left C-curve of the S-type and thoracic spine and the right C-curve of the lumbar spine. First, prepare an aluminum and a frame of appropriate size. Second, connect the frame to the aluminum. The upper frame covers the upper right chest of the patient, and the lower frame covers the patient's left pelvis. Third, fix the elastic band to the back aluminum frame. Two bands are fixed in section A. Two are fixed in section C. The flexvine assembly method is as follows for the C-curve on the right side of the thoracic spine. First, prepare an aluminum and a frame of appropriate size. Second, connect the frame to the aluminum. The upper frame covers the upper left chest of the patient, and the lower frame covers the patient's left pelvis. Third, fix the elastic band to the back aluminum frame. Fix the two bands to section B. The flexvine assembly method is as follows for the C-curve on the left side of the thoracic spine. First, prepare aluminum and a frame of appropriate size. Second, connect the frame to aluminum. The upper frame covers the upper right chest of the patient, and the lower frame covers the patient's right pelvis. Third, fix the elastic band to the back aluminum frame. Fix the two bands to section B. Add a spoon of detergent and baking soda, a third cup of water in a paper cup, and wash it with a toothbrush or brush. Cat Pose Cat pose is a typical position for spinal stretching and spinal correction exercises, helping to create the S-curve and improving elasticity, flexibility, and muscle strength. Lie face down on the floor, with your hands and knees shoulder width apart, and lift your head toward the sky as you inhale. Lower your head as you exhale, and round your back and abdomen as much as possible. Diamond Press this motion induces the movement of the shoulder muscles, the serratus anterior, and rotator cuff. When rising, lift the trunk as much as possible, and when it's up, try not to add too much force on the pectoral muscles, upper trapezius, or erector spinae. From the prone position, make your arms into a diamond shape and lift your upper body as you exhale by pushing the floor down. When doing this, make a straight line from the crown to the waist. Prone Back Twist 
It is a scoliosis correction exercise that helps to correct the overall imbalanced muscles that arise from having bad posture in your daily life. Lie on your back with your feet on the floor and your knees upright. Repeatedly sway left and right slowly. After determining the best intensity for you, we recommend gradually increasing the intensity of the exercise. Repeat for about 10 sets. Side Plank All of the pelvic muscles, including the abdominals that make up the body's center of gravity, are part of the core muscles. When the core muscles are unstable, the erector spinae muscles that support the spine can be weakened and scoliosis can occur. To strengthen these core muscles, it is important to strengthen relatively weakened spinal muscles by the side plank exercise. Lie on your side with your elbow on the floor, and lift your hips up so your body is perpendicular to the floor, and then hold for 30 seconds. Do the same on the other side for a total of 3 sets. Bridge Position Correct your posture so that your head, spine, shoulders, and pelvis are balanced. If you sit for a long time, stretch your body often to relax the muscles. From lying position with your knees upright, lift your hips and lower back as much as possible and hold for 30 seconds. Because it is benefits back muscle strength and elasticity, it is recommended to repeat it 3 to 5 times a day while wearing the spinal brace. To strengthen the spinal muscles, increase the amount of exercise slowly within a pain-free range. Crossing Limbs while in a crawling position, lift the legs and arms at the same time, and hold the body without shaking. This helps to correct body imbalance. By training the weak and erector spiny muscles of the patients, the paravertebral muscles are trained so that the spine can maintain the corrected state even when the spine brace is released. In a prone position, cross your arms and legs, stretch them to 180 degrees, hold for 30 seconds, and then do the same on the other side.